All right, welcome to today's workout. Today we're gonna be doing three rounds. And just like the last one, we're gonna sandwich four resistance exercises in between cardio. So for round one, we're gonna use the elliptical machine and we're gonna go for 15 minutes and we're gonna increase our heart rates and probably start to sweat. So we'll go for 15 minutes and then we'll get into round two, which are gonna be our four exercises. Number one gonna be the hip manipulation. We've done this before. And again, it's gonna be requiring balance. So we're gonna be working on our core strength and those small muscles that are responsible for us maintaining our balance. We want a foundation, a strong core foundation, so that moving forward, anything we do um, of high intensity, if we wanna really focus on burning fat in the future, that's a key workout that we'll do. We're also gonna be doing the split squats. We've done those before, I'll demonstrate. And we're gonna do the ISO rubber legs. Those are always fun. And the loop band hip extension. And then we'll finish up the elliptical for 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll do the cardio for 15 minutes and then start with round two, which will be our resistance training. So let's go ahead and set up and get ready to move. All right, so we've done our cardio for 15 minutes. We've worked up a little bit of a sweat, hopefully, uh, increased heart rate. And we're gonna go ahead and do a flat band manipulation, if you will. So. This is kind of like a stretch routine, um, and I like to kind of fire all of those smaller muscles in the core, okay? Um, and I want to start incorporating this one into each of our workouts. We need to make sure that we have strong shoulders. Um, the older we get, the less stable those uh, that joint gets. It's the least stable joint in the body, and this is where we tend to see, uh, especially women uh, working in a clinical environment, I noticed a lot of women uh, were coming in with rotator cuff injuries. I mean, significant injuries where that required surgery and that requires probably in between like eight and 12 months of recovery. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna minimize our risk for injuries. If we have kids running around, we've got a lot of chores to do around the house. Um, if we are working a physically demanding job, we have to be careful. So uh, this is a great exercise and we start out with that retraction. Um, and then we move above the head and we're just creating tension and then releasing the tension after we rotate. Notice I'm rotating and releasing, rotating and releasing, rotating and releasing. And we're breathing in and out, nice and easy. And we're only gonna do like eight to 10, all right, of each movement. So it's nothing much, you should feel some fatigue. The resistance band or the flat band is a light flat band, but that band does kick my behind. So, and then we want to anchor the band behind our backs. All right. And I like to stagger my feet just like so as if, as if I'm kind of throwing a football or something. And I like to move my shoulder um, as I just did. And then I'll stretch and kind of isolate it there. I'll bounce around a bit, do my thing with that. And then we'll switch. And it's just an opportunity to be kind of loose. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to introduce resistance to that shoulder. And in the meantime, we're increasing our range of motion with the help of the resistance band. This kind of simulates having a, like a stretch expert, for example, um, kind of working with you, but we don't have that. So we've got the flat band and we do the best with what we've got. All right, and so from here, what we'll do is we're gonna anchor the band so that we can perform internal uh, rotation of the shoulder. In the following workouts, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of shoulder exercises, uh, specifically internal and external rotation in the very near future. So this is just a good way to activate those muscles. All right, so. We switch position. Somebody had some music going on out there. All right, so this is another internal rotation of the shoulder from a different position. So we're gonna switch it up, go to the other arm. We're gonna raise our arm like so and perform the internal rotation. This isn't gonna be much. It's only meant to warm you up, all right? that's what we want to do. We want to start activating the shoulder more. 
and just from a rear view so you can kind of get the picture as to how I anchor the band. It's nothing fancy, nothing special. And we'll finish up with that and get ready for our hip manipulation. Alright, so from the starting position, we're just going to abduct the hip. So hip abduction, knee flexion, and we're actually not only working those hip flexors and abductors, we're working the other side as well that's stationary. Those are our balancing muscles. You saw the kid drive up with a, he had some kind of something in his tire, so I thought the kid was going to run into me or something. I lost balance. I should have started over. That's generally the rule. Um, you start with the last count if you lose balance. We want to maintain balance at all costs. All right, so we switch it up. We bring our our foot in front of us across the midline to the starting position, and then we abduct our hip up. All right, we maintain our balance. And we finish up those reps, and then move into the hip extension. And that's where I was just touching the, the glutes. So we're activating those glutes. We're working out the glutes. We're eventually going to get into the hip extension with the loop band. So we're going to be targeting those things tonight. All right. And we're breathing. All right. We're flexing the hip, maintaining our balance. We want to flex it as straight as possible. We're flexing the knee and then we're extending backwards as well. So we're activating those glutes even more. Then we move straight into our split squats. We've done these before. It's going to be a one legged squat. We want to make sure that forward leg has all of the weight on the heel. All right. We want to be able to push straight up into the air to directly upwards motion. All right, and this is gonna basically keep our patella or our kneecap uh, in a, pro a proper track, all right? All right, so we switch it up, go to the, the other leg. And we're gonna do 15 reps each leg. We really wanna work the glutes. That's the key. We want to stay moving, increase our heart rate. We've already done our cardio, and we're working the glutes. We want to increase the size slightly while simultaneously burning a little bit of fat. And don't forget, we have to make sure that we're eating correctly, all right? Otherwise, it's not going to matter what we do here. It will, but but our the effect that our exercise has will be reduced significantly if we don't eat correctly, okay? All right, and then we move straight into the loop band rubber legs, one of my favorites. All right, and we're just going to sit down as if we're going to squat back up, but we're going to stay in the isometric position. And we are just going to abduct those hips out. All right, it is a light loop band. You can use a medium, you can use a heavy, whatever you're comfortable with. You know, the, the heavier the weight, the uh, larger the cross-sectional area is going to be of the buns, all right? This is a highly effective exercise to fatigue those muscles. That's what you want to do, break them down to build them back up. You've got, you've got better metabolism uh, in that case, and uh, we've improved our physique, potentially. All right, and so using the same loop band, we're going to go ahead and set up for the hip extension. And then that's exactly what we'll do. So we're just going to extend the hip outwards and upwards. All right, so we're staying basically on all fours until we extend. And then we start back at the starting position with the knee near the ground. 
and then we're just extending the hip backwards and outwards. All right, so we're doing 20 of each leg, and you can do more. It's all up to you. You want to feel fatigue. You want to feel a burn. You don't want to feel any kind of acute pain, but we do want to feel general muscle fatigue when we do these exercises. All right, and then we finish up strong. And that is excellent work, great job. All right, and so basically what we're gonna do is reset the equipment and we have two more sets. So we have sets two and three. And then after that, we do our cardio for 15 more minutes and then we're finished. All right, so we wanna finish strong. We wanna increase the heart rate again. We're gonna regulate our uh, body metabolism by exercising, all right? We're giving ourselves a dose of exercise to get healthy. Great work. 